What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It is Shade Royalty and today what I'll be doing is a what's in my hospital bag video and how I pack. You should go tell me the tips them and everything. I use this book and I also added some things to the list. So it is a maternal record book. It is from the Ministry of Health and Wellness and in the book they have a section where you're supposed to have items taken to the hospital and they have items for mother and for baby. Before starting I would like to explain the, the um so I'm bringing two bags. Let me say that first. I'm bringing this suitcase because it's easy to pull it around and I'm bringing this bag. So in this bag, the documents that I brought are the baby book, the maternal record book, from the blood donors and the money. I think it's $200 to register a baby name but to be safe just put $1,000. Me put $1,000 because you know, you don't want food to see me. I was hungry when you just give birth. Alright. And I have my purse with like my TRN and my passport so I keep it in this bag in this bag no because me no said this one actually no 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 so at the top I have like ziplock bags things that are for me like bathing soap um some things not so only ziplock like milk milk I'm gonna remember Okay, so alcohol, baby wipes, and salt. So I put these last because maybe the, maybe I'll need it, so I'll put it closer to the top. And then this is for the bathroom where I have two fresh toothpaste, roll on, soap, and a bathing rag. Put it in a Ziploc bag and face mask. You know, it's COVID time, same way, so I put a pair of peas, thank you. So I have hand sanitizer in it, two different bottles of hand sanitizer, a small one and a big one, two different masks. Mm -hmm. I think it's yeah, about four masks I have. Two different brands of masks. And this is just like hair comb, hair brush, and fake hair. I don't know why I have fake hair, I still take it out. So inside the suitcase. So I'm just adding this. The reason why I brought a suitcase, I don't know what. Um, other persons are bringing about the suitcase because it's easy to pull and me always depend on energy saving mode so anything will make my life easier I'm a depend I don't want to bag on my shoulder and then people say after they give birth they usually feel tired and when me tired I don't want to keep up nothing for me not even want to spend when I'm tired so I'm going to pull it I wheel and everything I pull it so that's why suitcase so inside the suitcase now um baby bum let your head my baby bum inside the suitcase uh this is how I packed it you can see some have things in poly bags so these are the cotton balls and at the very top I have a poly bag here with so you see when you're in the labor room, when you're about to push out the baby and the baby about to come, you know, so the, I think the midwife, she's going to come in a suitcase for some items. So instead of letting her search through the bag and mess up the bag too much, I put it closer to the top. So I have a baby hat in the bag. I have one pair of socks, one single rug, one used receiver. So this is Zaya's old baby receiver. Pampers, we put six pampers in there and i brought 12 diapers right so at the bottom of this suitcase right now i have six diapers lined out and in this bag that i think the midwife will need right away i put six in it don't have to put six in it but that's what i did and i use a chemise so if you don't know what a chemise is it's these little cute cute tops that has buttons 
way easy for easy access to the navel and in something for the nurse and me as well and what i learned from my mother is you're not supposed to bring a red or a yellow trimmies try and skip out the bright mm -hmm. colors try and get the white ones but just skip the bright color chimneys so i have a lot of white chimneys for, for the baby and with the receiver why i chose the used one is because it's gonna be messy or they might dump it so that's the reason why i used a rec it's an it's not a new mm -hmm. newborn receiver and then in this bag that I put at the top, it's for me. I can't put it at the top here. So mm -hmm. these are maternity pads for me. Mm -hmm. I have two pack of maternity pads. It is the Confidence Maternity Pad. And I have tissue in it as well. So I didn't go with the whole roll. I just took a portion. So this is the amount of tissue that I brought. This is the amount. And I uh, put it in this bag. If you ever see people pack feed in a like on a feed store or somewhere, you put the thing one on top of each other. That's how I packed and stuff two packs of maternity pad in this body bag. Um, I brought a hand mirror because I don't know in my head me go do my makeup after me give birth or while me in a labor while me have contractions. So my tail be sick. Guys, we not doing makeup. All right. So for mother, so here in the bag right now, mm -hmm. don't know if you're seeing it, guys. But on this side, I have my stuff, and on this side, I have all the baby stuff. So I'm gonna show you the baby stuff first because my stuff not really important. No, of course, of course, it's important because like. These are the most important right now. So, right, okay. The subject of the video. So, I brought, in the book, it says to bring two bras. I have, I brought three bras because I want to experiment to see which one is better. So, I brought one of these bras with the steels in it and one of these bras Two, two of these actually without the steel and it has a comfortable thing at the end this blows up it so you know it has this comfortable thing at the end and it's a bit bigger than my, my the size of my breast and i learned mm -hmm. that your breast is gonna grow because you're gonna have milk so i have these bras for that and these so yeah and slips i only brought one slip but you need like two three slips it depends on how long you, you stay in the hospital but i brought this i brought one slip six underwear six, six cotton underwear i'm not sure i'm continuing my health so i'm baggy and so normal big panty cotton panty i'm not showing them <laughs> and here i have some I don't know how to explain what is. I don't know how to explain where the this thing, this. You can't show them what it is, this. Because you know, when you're in a hospital, you're gonna be in a room with two other mm -hmm. mothers with in a labor, just I gonna have kids and you're gonna basically naked and they're gonna have visitors. Even though COVID time I think you're allowed to have one visitor per person, but they're gonna have visitors, even for the father. So you have to like look appropriate, cover up yourself, and that's the reason for the slip as well. So that's it. So I have two nightgowns and two robes. That's the name. <laughs> two robes. Yes. In the book, I think they said that you should have three nightgowns, and they advise that you have cotton nightgowns. So now with the cotton dress, I have a baby basin because on the list. You're supposed to add a baby basin. So in that baby basin, that's where I put my cotton dress because I was I'm planning that if I'm ready for taking, I'm just a good chew on the cotton dress. Just take off everything with me in her while the contractions of my home chew on the cotton dress and got go to the hospital. So that's 
I have to strip my clothes off of me while it's supposed to be baby ready for come. So the cotton dress, the other cotton dress, the other nightgown, which is the cotton dress, it's in the basin. Because you're supposed to bring a basin for the baby. Mm. So that's where I put my cotton dress. Because, yeah, I'm just explain. Alright, so that's all for me. Okay, so in the book it says that you need a bedside slippers and you need a rubber slippers. It's a hospital and I don't plan to stay there long. My bed slippers, I don't bring that to the hospital. So the yard slippers I may have or the rubber slippers that everybody own, the black one with the white stripe around it, everybody own it. That's what I'm bringing to the hospital. That's what I'm going to bed in and that's what I'm going to wear at the bedside at the hospital. I also have olive oil for your baby because, yeah, you need olive oil as well. Um, I'm talking about the baby this now. Hold on, guys. Let me watch it. Sorry. Here's the basin that I'm going to bring. Here's the bucket. I bought the person's advice that I bring a bag to put like my dirty clothes in or, or whatever. But I brought the basin to bring my dirty clothes in because I have a drive to go home. But if you don't have access to vehicle, when when it's time to leave the hospital, you have to take taxi. Instead of bringing the base and just bring a lala bag, lala bag, plastic bag, or some bag. It can be the, the shopping bag that you have. So, um, in the basin, I have the cotton dress that I was talking about. This is what I'm gonna put on. This is what I'm going to wear when um when I'm on my way to the hospital. So I'm gonna just throw up every clothes on my have brazier, everything, underwear, everything, and put on this. Because they yeah. And I have two large towels as well. I have two large towels in the basin. The white towel that I have, I don't use a new brand towel and bring on no hospital to show no face. Use towel, my white towel. We have two to two large towels that I'm bringing for myself. And remember to bring pillow and pillowcase. So what you're supposed to bring for the baby, or what I have in my bag for the baby. So I have about four chemises. I'm not counting this one. So I have five chemises in total. I bring my little panty for you. I'm not sure if you panty either. I have two, three extra socks, extra pairs of socks. I have the nappy. I need nappy pins. I didn't get the nappy pins. And uh, mm. one, two, three, four, four receiver. And little hand. Because I just love to see babies. In like the hand mittens so I have these cute pink hand mittens they're so cute and baby rags I choose the dull colors even though I love this one this is a nice color and this is a nice color but I brought these colors like the male colors to the hospital like like everybody would do one boy baby and buy boy baby stuff like the Boy, baby stuff. I go to the hospital when she come home. Everything pink. <laughs> My girl. All right. So that's what. It's the end of the video. I hope you guys learned something from it. End in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you watched to this point, thank you so much to the support team. Um, Mary pop my hospital bag now. Because we can't take in at any time. So, let me get to that. But thank you so much for watching. And no flow. No flow. Bye. <laughs> oh, baby bump updates. Yeah. Look at my baby bump. Oh my gosh.